Hi darlings, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kuzai and I really do hope you enjoy the content on here and you stay. And since we're already at that subject, please do go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and become part of this awesome and amazing family. And do click the notification bell icon also so that you're uh, notified each and every time that I upload a video and do not do not miss a thing. So uh, welcome to Monday Motivation. This was by to be a series on my channel because I'm just one of those people who love to speak positivity and life into other people's lives so this had to happen okay it had to be a series within the vlogtober series and today I'm just here to speak to somebody and I hope I speak to you too I'm just, I'm just here to speak to someone if you watched my first vlogtober video I mentioned that one of the reasons that I I felt I needed to do this was because I needed to recenter myself and I found myself in a position where I needed that um, partly because of the losses that have happened throughout the year 2020 um, I've lost relatives friends people I know and one that really hit close to home is losing um, the is the loss of this guy I met him through one of my closest friends uh, and he was definitely one of the good ones Eddie was definitely one of the good ones. Anyone who came across Eddie would tell you that he was a jolly soul to be around, ever smiling, ever happy. And just hearing about him passing away just hit really close to home. And it got me having one of the conversations that I have with myself, which is, why are we even here? And if you were to die today, if it were you who, who had exhausted your time on earth, would you rest in peace? Would you have fulfilled your life's purpose or would you have been in pursuit of your life's purpose would you just have lived your life to the fullest doing the things that you love would you have loved the people that you wanted to love in your life would you have done the things that you wanted to do would you have just fulfilled the desires and hopes and dreams that you had for yourself would you rest in peace and so i decided to just come 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 on here and share with you guys um some of the lessons that I've taken away from those conversations that I have with myself and with people around me. First lesson that I've learned in this life is to know what you want in life. Know your life's purpose. Know what you want and live in pursuit of that. Um, usually what you want is like in line with the purpose that God has for you in your life sometimes it's not and it's quite a hard pill to swallow and sometimes your purpose changes according to the spaces that you are in your life but make sure that you know your purpose within each and every space that you find yourself in and live in pursuit of that uh, second lesson that I've learned is to just celebrate each and every milestone in your life celebrate it I celebrate each and every subscriber on this channel I will not wait for me to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours for me to start celebrating my successes on this channel. No, I will. I will. I'll, I'll celebrate each and every one of the sub subscribers that I get, and I will celebrate each and every video that I put out there, and each and every view that I get because I know that I poured myself into this, and it is an actual achievement for me to be able to do uh, this, like what I'm doing, sitting down here and like filming a video takes effort and it's quite an achievement for me so I consider it an achievement and I celebrate each and everything that I do I celebrate every cent that I make I I have dreams and aspirations to be a millionaire a billionaire but I will not wait until I make my first million for me to celebrate I will celebrate each and every cent that I make and that I put in my pocket because honey come on it's worth celebrating it's something because you didn't have what you have now another lesson that I've learned and that I've taken away from these losses is just as you're living your life live your life for you yes live it for the fulfillment of the purpose that God put you on this earth live it for the joy of God but when it comes to any other major life decision that you have to make in your life make it solely for yourself not your mother not your father not your guardians not your spouse your boyfriend or your girlfriend but for you because you are the person who's going to have to leave with these decisions this life is yours and it's the only life that you have you are the person who's going to have to live with it for the rest of your life if it's a career you're the one who's going to have to wake up every morning and go to work make sure that you don't go there which it is at time and with resentment in your heart and just miserable 
just because you went into it for the fulfillment or for the happiness of somebody else who is not you. If it comes to a spouse, love the person that you want to love, not the person that you're parents want you to love the church people want you to love but the person that you yourself love so just make any other major love decisions solely for yourself because life life is just too short it's too unpredictable for you to live life for the joy and the fulfillment of somebody else who is not god or who is not you it's just too unpredictable you could walk out the door today and not come back you could lay on your bed to sleep and not wake up so when you get to that moment where you've exhausted your days on this earth will you rest in peace will you stand in front of god and say father god i lived and i am fulfilled i am content with the days that i lived yes i had plans for my life and i had things that i aspired to do and achieve but within those days that i lived i lived within the road to fulfilling those things and i lived a fulfilling life so it's just I, I i wanted to just tell this word to someone live your life for you celebrate every milestone in your life and know your life's purpose know the things that you want in your life specifically and live in pursuit of those things i hope i spoke to someone and i hope that this is going to edify you in one way or another but thank you so much for watching until this point in this video. Till we meet again in my next video, stay fine, stay blessed, stay amazing, and live your life for you.